I'm Sarah Lacey. And I'm Paul Carr. What are we going to talk about this week, Sarah? Justin Bieber. We are talking, <laughs> this week we're talking about Justin Bieber. Um, we should explain why we're talking about Justin Bieber. Paul and I decided to go see uh, the Justin Bieber movie, Never Say Never. Yeah, in 3D. In 3D. <laughs> um, because we, well, I think you were just kind of calling my bluff. I wanted to actually try to understand what, what the Bieber phenomenon is. Because, yeah. well, I think it's ridiculous how people try to say we've never seen fans like they, these. I mean, we've seen fans yeah, the like Be- these. Yeah, but I, but I do think that they're, you know, when there are fans like these, there is some phenomenon. I think this is the first time I've been too old to appreciate it. Yeah, well, so the thing that people have been asking me since since I once I told them we'd seen it was... Per- After we convinced them we were serious. For a start, their first thing they asked me was, are you fucking kidding me? The second thing was, do you now get it? Like, people, there is this yeah. need to... Do you get it? I do. I do. And I also now see why... And you made a really interesting point, which was that um, this is... Unlike the Facebook movie, which is supposed to explain the and every the, reviewer said, "Oh, now I get this generation it of kids and the what they're doing." No, like, no, it doesn't however, at all. the Justin Bieber movie in three D explains perfectly the the power of social media to me better than I think any movie has done. Right, and it's because it was so for me. There were two bits of genius. The first was um, you. They showed the bit where they had lots. They started off with just a small number of like little clips of people lip syncing mm-hmm. to Bieber. And then the camera pulls back and you see there being hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of these little clips. And you suddenly realize um, how many people there are out there using social media to like join the, to become believers. Right. You know, um, lip syncing and whatever. There was a scene where there was a girl who was being asked about her fandom. And she said, um, I tweet him like a hundred times a day. There was no sense he ever tweeted back to this right. poor B- but she feels it like, and, and so it's like, imagine like with Elvis and the Beatles, yeah. people who are huge fans who had the ability to feel like they were, I mean, it just takes it such a step further. Well, people used to like throw their I mean, underwear onto the stage or whatever. brilliantly, it's, by the way. Right, and people used to like, there was a bit in, in the show where, in because they, they had lots of concert footage, mm-hmm. and they, they show a bit where um, he brings a girl, this sort of, you know, lonely one, one less lonely girl, which I'm, again, should be one fewer lonely girl, I think. Um, anyway, brings her onto the stage, and she's a member of the audience. And she then becomes an avatar for all of the hopes and dreams of the entire crowd. And they all hate her. Since the beginning of show business, they've had that thing of like, let's bring a girl from the audience on because that way the audience feels involved even mm-hmm. though they all can't be. And the movie had so many examples of that. It had the example of the girl who tweets him 100 times. Right. It had, but every one of them, it was interesting how they all were like, no one loves him like I do. No one gets it. Right. And somehow be- through the genius of social media, Bieber has managed to convince these girls that they have this one-on-one channel with him that no one else has. Mm-hmm. There was another th- thing that was nice about it being in 3D, because one of the great tricks of 3D <laughs> is you're able to do that thing where if somebody points something out of the screen, yeah. it looks like no matter where you're sitting in the, in the theater, it looks like it's coming at you. Right. And they massively overused this, but yeah. there was a technique that was used where- But girls in the audience swooned Right, <laughs> where time. he would just point out of the screen and it would be like right yeah. at you. And it's so, 3D was used perfectly yeah. to get across the idea of what social media does. So to, to me, it was, seeing the Justin Bieber movie almost became work. You know, as in, it was a great piece of insight into what social media does. And you can say what you like about whether it's making a difference in Iran or in Egypt or wherever else. But, but in terms of entertainment, in terms well, of marketing, it's it's fucking incredible. I mean, to me, like, we've talked about this for years, how this whole promise of you can be this person toiling away and the machine doesn't appreciate you and this sort of democratized force discovers people and makes them stars. And it's like, I've never seen a great example of it. We've seen a lot of people get famous. We've seen a lot of people develop businesses and income, but no one's quite crossed over. Mm-hmm. You know, there's I Justine, there's Julia Allison, yeah. there's um, the you know Lonely Girl Thirteen or whatever, yeah. who I guess got a role in some show, but like Amanda Congdon. So you're saying there's now one less Lonely Girl Thirteen. <laughs> At any rate, all these people got to the point where they were like, they're in discussions or even shot pilots with TV, yeah. but never crossed over. And it was like, well, there's something about internet fame that doesn't translate. And to me, Justin Bieber is the first example I've seen of someone who was promoted exclusively on social media, discovered because of social media, no one wanted to sign and went out on its own grassroots to every radio station, tweeting mm-hmm. to everyone, you know, and it's like he did have a manager and he did get Wait, a label. No, yeah, I was going to say, so what... what he got a manager, but he didn't get a label on his own. That's fair. Now, what I thought was amazing was how quickly the machine took over, which right. I think is what you have to have. I think social media can't carry it the entire way. I mean, I did this story today on the site about Aura Brush, this tongue brush that I call the Justin Bieber of oral care, because it's a very similar story. It's a yeah. product people wanted, but like gatekeepers were keeping it out. 
and it's used YouTube, and now it's being sold in Walmart and all these stores. So right. it's like it still has to go the retail route. Well, the important thing is, is you can't miss. you can't monetize without the machine. That's the, that's what what happens. And so what was interesting, yeah, about Justin Bieber was. He put the stuff out on YouTube. I mean, he had the, he's got this stage mom who is very much a stage mom. She seems quite. Oh, she's not I the didn't, worst. That's not how she came across. She's not the worst, but she's definitely. Let me rephrase it then. But she's definitely somebody who had a huge amount of belief and encouraged him to put more mm -hmm. videos out. There and was definitely like, um, you know, definitely his sort of manager before he had a manager. And um, so he was. So they were using social media. Then then they got this manager, which is like step one of the machine. Right. Who saw him on? YouTube. Who saw him on YouTube? And, 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 and because of the engagement, was into right. Him. Which is where Had YouTube they is. Sent something to this guy. He never would. Which have is what I've always said about publishing, where it's like public, the internet's going to kill publishing. No, it's not. But what right. it will do is it allows people who haven't got a book deal, haven't got an agent, to get their stuff out there and get discovered. And it's actually how I got my first book deal was I had right. a website and somebody saw it. Now, I think so. I think you see that. And then they, he was the the agent guy was so the manager guy was smart enough to then keep using social media. The other thing I think was great about the movie is you didn't see any of him in the movie. No. It was, well, he was, yeah, he was basically like, but it's it's kind of, you know, like in the Twilight books, they always say like the, the female character doesn't have much depth because you're supposed to put yourself in there. It's like, he was almost just like the embodiment of the hopes and dreams of the people, but it was the people that were interested. It was like- so, the, I disagree. I think he was more like this aloof thing that they didn't want to define too much because they don't want to ruin the illusion that mm. all of these teenage girls have of exactly what he's really like. I think they wouldn't want to give you any more than you get following of, him on Twitter, knowing his songs, whatever. There were lots and of it positions. Had, it was everyone statements. else talking about him yeah. and him walking around, but there was none of, almost none of him just talking to the camera. There and was never his a own moment story, where he was on his own. Which is interesting because if you look at other people who've tried to use social media to become famous, it's very much them putting their whole lives out, their dirty laundry. And I, th I thought the control of it was another real genius. At no touch. point was there a moment where he addressed the camera directly without someone else there. But what I did think was 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 really interesting was. Um, yeah, how much you got the sense that, like how much they obviously realized that social media is, the machine is now using social media. Right. Like this idea that social media was supposed to undermine the machine. Right. No, the machine has now got super smart and has realized we can use social media to convince you that the machine doesn't exist. And and now, and to use it in the same way as you use the one girl on stage, like right. now every single person can be that one girl on stage. And mm -hmm. it's just, they've blown that that idea of fooling you into, the, in the same way as they, they've always been, Controlled, so like we will never see Justin Bieber with a girlfriend, right? Uh, and we will never see Justin Bieber like in any way that will, like you say, that will spoil the illusion. And I mean, they've now got like, brilliant at managing that illusion, like right. uh, to the point where you feel like he was a completely two-dimensional person. I yeah. mean, it's like we talked about before having too much access to someone erodes the level of fame, mm -hmm. and like. I, I was stunned that they got that because to me the temptation is always to, oh, pe fans want to know what I'm really like. That's why they no, like Twitter. They do and not. that's not what it is. It's the last thing they want to know. And I think that's that's it with, with Justin Bieber. It's it's this brilliance of exactly showing us nothing about him, allowing everybody to fill in their own gaps, allowing social media to make you think that, well, no one else gets him, but I really do. It's it's yeah, that movie is if any forget all these fucking bullshit social marketing books that we get social oh, yeah. media books that we get sent through, the secret of <laughs> see the Justin Bieber movie and you will yeah. immediately understand. Yeah, don't the opposite of what most of these people and you know, and I'm I'm a I'm a friend of Julia's and you are, but but like her thing was always she massively gave a lot of herself away. Right. And that's the worst thing and you can do. Yeah. It just gives people more to hate. The secret is get everyone else talking about you, have an entirely one directional conversation that makes it look like you're having a two directional right. conversation. But yeah, but whatever you do, don't actually communicate with these people <laughs> yourself. Like just, <laughs> let, it's it's just brilliant. I and know, it's, I, mean, I so, mean, so I would, I think it's safe to say that, you know, while we are not Justin Bieber fans, I am not a believer se, yet, no. Um, I am a fan of his machine and what they've done. Because yeah. I think they have better than anyone exploited social media. I will say, and and this just to say, so it doesn't sound like we're being too kind of arch and ironic, I I did come out of an appreciation of what the appeal of him is. Because he's obviously a very naturally talented kid. It isn't and a matter of fact. He has huge natural charisma. Like in a way yeah. that, and because there was a scene where him and, he and Miley Cyrus were on stage together. Now I don't know a lot about Miley Cyrus. I'm sure she's an astonishingly talented person. You're such a liar. You've posters up for everywhere. I totally do. Now she, she was on stage with him. She had very little charisma. She seemed yeah. awkward. She seemed... And she seems like somebody that they've packaged and delivered who doesn't right. have a huge amount, like, like Posh Spice, doesn't have a huge amount of natural talent, but if you package them enough and if you right. auto-tune them enough, they become yeah. good. Bieber, I have to say, and you see all the old videos and you, and you see yeah. him drumming at the age of three. <laughs> right. He's a really talented kid. Like, yeah. they've taken talent and, and they've used... unafraid. I mean, it showed him in, like, the local talent show doing, like, 
Beyonce and doing Hugely old standards confident. and like, like his whole like these weird dance moves. I mean, he we can be as so you can be as Beyonce. cynical as you like as an adult and be like, I don't get what this Justin Bieber shit is. Yeah. But you know what? Actually, he's a hugely talented kid, but but that they've then used social. It's a great example again of social media, which is you have it's to nice have, to have a good product. Yeah. yeah, is is that the easiest thing to sell is a really yeah. good product? It's not that it was some great gimmick. I think it's a, just that pe- there was something there people resonated. I think with. there's a degree of yeah. I think there's a degree of revisionism as well with the with the history of Bieber, which is I'm. I'm not convinced that there was, that, you know, they opened the they opened the movie with like somebody forwarding yeah. one of his videos, and I'm actually very not, similar to the, uh, you, t- the what they use in the preview for the social right. network. I yeah, exactly, and I definitely think there would be a couple. I definitely think there'd be a, you know, it did get a lot yeah. of views this this the videos of him, but it didn't it set the but internet that was, alight. But that was why the. But producer, it was enough to get the producer yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I manager, but I think they've yeah. now revised it to this idea of like it was being forwarded around yeah. like wildfire. Oh, I'm sure there's it plenty of revisionist wasn't. history in it. But again, that's what's brilliant about it. Is well, it's taking something that was in public record and it's like yeah. twisting it. No, and I and I, you know, and I think it it just shows it shows the power of social media when combined with a great product, but also the machine, the money and making machine, and appreciation machine. of what the machine does. And exactly same with publishing, same with music, same with film, same with everything. Um, and journalism, I said the other week about WikiLeaks, you know, like, it's the best use of social media and, and of, you know, crowdsourcing and everything else is when it's combined with people who are experts and some, somebody with some talent and you have the whole package and it's, well, we have Justin Bieber, which for those reasons is a phenomenon we've never seen before. I don't think we've ever seen somebody, a, a connection with fans like we've seen with Justin Bieber. Mm-hmm. So I don't think he's a flash in the pan. I'm convinced now he's not a flash in the pan. Yeah. After the movie. Anyway. So that's the Justin. So next week we'll be talking about kittens, and the week after it'll be Lady Gaga pantsless in Paris. Our uh, <laughs> new AOL Huffington Post overlords thankers. Join us next and we week. We thank you.